What's good YouTube, it's your boy Cardi, and in today's video, I'm gonna be dropping the best dribble tutorial on NBA 2K22. So if you have not already, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a stream or an upload. About 96.3% of the people that watch my videos are not already subscribed, so to get that number down to zero, drop a like right now, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those post notifications so we can keep dropping these daily bangers for y'all boys. Watch this video all the way through for a follow back, all you have to do is hit me on one of these socials I just popped up on the screen hit me on one of those socials let me know that you're a new sub comment if you're a new sub show me you watch the video all the way through and i got you with a follow back i'm not gonna make this intro too long but we've been doing giveaways in my stream so make sure y'all boys are subbed up you know what i'm saying and comment mike wayne k in the chat if you are a new sub all right let's get right into this banger video in this video i'm gonna be giving you the best badges the best settings the best dribble moves the best inside the game tips outside the game tips all that type of stuff to be able to dribble like crazy and be able to go crazy in the stage or whatever you're trying to play i right, i got y'all boys no need to fear a card is here all right so drop a like and let's get right into this banger let's go bow all right boys in all my dribble moves videos and all my how to dribble videos you got to start off with the settings so let's go ahead and get into the settings all right go to your controller settings make sure everything's right so for me i have my vibration on my shot meter off doesn't really matter for dribbling vibrations personal preference if you like to feel the vibration then that's fine you know what i mean have it on all right now pro stick orientation needs to be on absolute pro stick function needs to be on default pro stick orientation you don't want that on camera relative that is terrible do not use camera relative please I'm I'm begging you, do not use camera relative, always use absolute. And then pro stick function, I see people using dribble moves, it's just mid to me, it, it, it is not good in my opinion. I use default, so make sure you have on default. I, and that's pretty much it for like your settings and everything, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know. Now, all right, so most everybody you know that I talk to always uses jump shot boost and stuff like that. And I will always use jump shot boost. As you can see, I will always have jump shot boost. This is my new 510 play shot I've been using for the stage. Um, if you want this build, let me know down below if you want a video on this build because it's just the most common play shot build. It's the best one in my opinion. I made it the best. Um, but I know people like to use jump shot boost, but there's no reason to use um, playmaking boost. Okay, playmaking boost are not that good. They don't really give you a boost to anything like your jump shot boost will. So that's why I don't really use the playmaking boost. The playmaking boosts are just useless to me. So I don't really see the point in using them. So that is why I will always go with jump shot boost and no playmaking boost okay now another couple of inside outside the game tips before we get into the last inside the game tip um i would recommend having a monitor if you do not have a monitor having a monitor will be very very beneficial to you um i like to have a monitor with a one millisecond response time high frequency um all that type of stuff i have a, a one millisecond response time 144 hertz uh, frequency I think that's what it's called and then um, I have my controller plugged in the wired controller will give you less input delay and also having an Ethernet will also give you less input delay if you can do all those three things if you go from having none of that wireless internet no monitor playing on a TV on a wireless controller you do all those things make the switch you will feel so much smoother in every game you play defense offense playmaking MLB COD 2k Minecraft doesn't matter you're gonna have way better feeling way better control of your game when you have a monitor and have all those things down now the next thing I want to talk about is your Gatorade workout now as you can see I did the agility hurdles I did the treadmill did the battle ropes did the dumbbells did the leg press and when you're dribbling when you're trying to be fast it's very important to have these done because as you can see look we got 94 uh, we'd had a 94 speed 94 acceleration and 94 stamina if I didn't do my attribute things my, I didn't do my physical attribute boost I didn't do my weekly workout now you can get gym rap by winning an NBA championship or just coming over here and hit level 40 and then talking to this guy I already hit level 40 but I didn't talk to him on this build so that way you know I'm boned out of it but I like to do the treadmill I like to do the agility hurdles battle ropes dumbbells and leg press that's what I do all right that's pretty much it for the inside and outside game tips as long as you have all those things down you should be good you can always, uh, I would always spin your wheel too because you might get extra Gatorade, you might get boost to every category. You know, if you get 10 boost per category, 10 boost per Gatorade thing, you know, it's it's very good for you. So I would like to always have those on. Now, my badges, these are the badges that I use, okay? Here are the badges I use. I use Handles for Days on Hall of Fame. I use Quick First Step on Hall of Fame. I use Quick Channel Hall of Fame. I use Tight Handles on Hall of Fame. Unpluckable Gold, Hyperdrive Gold, and Bullet Passer on Silver, okay? Now, if you have less badges, I would only focus on having Handles for Days on, Quick First Step on, Tight Handles on, then Unpluckable on. Okay, you can always have bullet passer on as a secondary badge, hyperdrive as a secondary badge, quick chain as a secondary badge. So, uh, people like stop and go, some people like space creator, but it's just not good. But I'm gonna be honest, stop and go is a myth, it doesn't do anything. Space creator doesn't do anything. I'm not even convinced hyperdrive does anything. I would say this is the least useful badge in the game, uh, at, or at least out of my setup. Okay, quick chain is also very useless, but you know, um, I like it, so I like to use it. I have the extra badges to put on, so I like to use it. 
Quick first step, very self-explanatory, provides more explosive first steps out of triple threat and size ups. Then we've got tight handles, improves a player's ability to break down their defender. Then we've got handles for days, you know what I mean? That makes it where you can dribble for longer without getting tired. That's basically the most important badge here besides quick first step. These two badges are the most important, okay? So those are the badges you're gonna wanna have on. If you don't have these badges, you need to make sure that you get these badges or you're gonna be like absolutely lost, okay? So make sure you have these badges. And then I'm just gonna wait until we get into my court and I'm gonna show you my dribble moves. All all right, boys so whenever you get into your micro you want to make sure that you invite someone into your micro like me i'm just gonna invite carmelo you know it doesn't matter just invite one of the ai's to be able to be in here when you're practicing your drip moves now let's get straight into the drip moves all right so slow up my animations now i'm gonna go over each and each and every one of them for y'all boys okay so we're gonna start off there's gonna be different dribble moves for each single one so like you're gonna have a different play style you know i see a lot of youtubers being like oh you have to use this one you know there's very good dribble moves for each category okay so you don't necessarily have to pick the one that i pick i'm going to give you different options different things to be able to use so you don't have to be like oh i'm going to pick what a cardi picks because it's a cardi and he's a youtuber like you don't have to do that you can try out each one and try for yourself okay now i don't have that many bot because this is a new player on my old player i have a lot bot and i might i could switch to that player but it's just too much of a waste of time i can just tell you i know all of the ones off the top of my head that are good okay so me personally i use quick okay i used to use paul george but now i'm on the quick train all right that's just what i use i would say quick is the best then paul george and then you've got steve nash and you've also got people like um uh fuck Kyrie's good um power's good um shifty's good but i will always go with quick now for your signature size up derrick rose is good r austin is good steve francis is good tracy mcgrady is good but i will always go with derrick rose so make sure you have derrick rose on signature combos this is another one where r austin is good where steve francis is good steph curry is good b davis is good but i go with kimball walker kimball walker in my opinion is the best one um, Tracy McGrady is good for tall guards. Zach Levine's good for tall guards. They don't get good drum moves. But Kimball Walker is the one you want to use whenever you're a small guard, small play shot. My size up escape package, okay? You could either use Trey Young or Steph Curry for a small guard. Now, if you're a tall guard, I would go with Damian Lillard or Trey Young, okay? That's what I would go with. But in my opinion, Trey Young is the best. If you want the Allen Iverson step back and you want the Curry slide, go with Steph Curry. Steph Curry also gives you good behind the back, gives you good misdirections, which I will show you in this video how to do the misdirections. But I'm going to go with Trey Young. For my size up skate pack now my moving crossover okay john wall Giannis, michael jordan steph curry are all good all super good crossovers but i'm gonna go with Giannis. Giannis is the one that i like the most so the Giannis is the one i'm gonna be going with moving behind the back okay i was on the steph curry and damian lillard train for a while and then i switched over to the scotty pippen train okay because it's a lot faster as you can see damian lillard gives you a big behind the back it's kind of good for tall guards to do a little quick move and get around your defender they're not really expecting that move and it gets you a lot of space but in my opinion scotty pippen is still the best behind the back in the game moving on to basic spin i always go with the basic spin you know people like to use penny hardaway is also a good one but basic spin has been the best spin move in the game for a long long time and it's not going to change i'm gonna be honest it's not going to change for a while so i'm going to go with moving spin basic moving hesitation all right if you want a good hesitation it's going to be kevin durant it's just not even a, it's there's not even a debate so kevin durant moving step back okay this is one that has a lot of options you got normal for the asta slide you've got Giannis for the for the fast move the little fast hezzy you got jimmy butler for the fast hezzy you got luca you got steph curry you got Kyrie. in my opinion the order is is normal Giannis Jimmy Butler Luca Steph Curry then Kyrie that's my order but I'm gonna go with normal and that is it the triple threat style and all that stuff the park drum moves don't matter I don't use them so now I'm just gonna pop my face cam up so you can see my hand cam and then we should be good to go all right boys to do this you want to go to play games with friends okay you're gonna want to go down to personal workout put yourself on offense put Carmelo or your whoever you're playing against on defense and then you'll be good to go all right, so once this loads up, I'm gonna go over every basic dribble move, okay? I'm gonna explain what the dribble style looks like. I'm gonna explain what the crossover looks like, all that type of stuff, all right? So my dribble style is quick, okay? That's gonna affect every single dribble move I do. That's gonna affect all of them, all together, bro. So if you want, try every one of them out. You know, I showed you in the video what ones are good, which ones are gonna be the best, which ones are gonna look the best, which is my opinion, Quick and Paul George are the best. So if you wanna try out different ones, try out different ones. They change what how your dribble moves look all together. So you wanna make sure that you choose the right one, okay? 
Now, signature size up, that is this move. The Derrick Rose move is this little quick crossover right here. In my opinion, one of the best moves in the game. Um, if not the best move in the game, I would say it's one of them. It's one of the fastest, most deadliest moves in the game. It's like a patch one move that everyone learned. Um, all you have to do for that is you want to, when you're dribbling, if the ball is in your left hand, okay, you want to flick diagonally up to the right hand, to the off ball hand. So diagonally up and then hold RT and run diagonally up and to the right or up and to the left. Okay, wherever you run, you have to go diagonally up or to, up and to the right or up and to the left with the left stick. Because if you don't, you're going to get this slow animation right here. Watch the screen. If I'm going straight to the right or straight to the left, you get that slow animation. But if I go diagonally up and to the right or diagonally up and to the left, I get that fast run animation. And that's how you speed boost. Okay, now moving on with the Kimba Walker. That, all you have to do for that is really hold, hold RT and flick up on the right stick. You're going to get that animation right there where you can speed boost out of it. And there you go. That's all you have to do, okay? I was looking at my OBS when I shot that. So just to prove that I'm not a bum, do it again. So I can get, uh, actually score on them, on this motherfucker. All right, Carmelo. Carmelo needs to put some respect on my name. Green in his mitt. <laughs> all right, but that's how you do the Kimba Walker. Hold RT, flick up on the right stick. As soon as it lets, go, as soon as it keeps um, going. As soon as you do a little hezzy, you want to just keep running. Always hold the stick diagonally up and to the left or up and to the right. So you can get the speed boost and then you just run. Okay, I'm going to try to post fade here. Didn't work. That's unfortunate. But that's all you have to do for that move right there, the speed boost side of it. Sometimes I let it play all the way through. If Sometimes I let it cross back over and go like that. But sometimes it's just too slow. You can let it play all the way through and then snatch it back like that if you want. That's effective. But it's like, you know, you just got to play with it and learn how to dribble yourself. Okay, that's really what it is. You got to learn how to misdirect your defender. See what works in the moment. You know, it might not work in the moment all the time. But it's worth a shot to just use it sometimes. Okay. Moving forward, the Trey Young size of escape. That's what gets you this right here. That's what gets you this right here. Let me do it. That's what gets you this right here. That's what gets you all these different moves, okay? Um, that's what gets you this move. Oh my goodness. Bro, damn, can I do it? This move right here. Um, that's what gets you this step back. So to do the step back for Trae Young, hold RT, flick straight down. To do the Trae Young um, size up, you want to hold RT and flick. Basically do the, do the Derrick Rose where you're flicking up on the right stick, di diagonally to the off ball hand, diagonally up to the off ball hand. Um, but hold RT this time. So hold RT. If the ball's in your right hand, you want to go diagonally up and to the left and then run diagonally up and to the left as well. So now you can see you want to you want to let the animation play out. You always want to flick the right stick first because if you do it too fast with the left stick, you're just going to you're literally just going to momentum cross. Okay, you're just going to spam momentum. If you try to go back and forth with it, you're just going to be like this. Let me do it. Let me spam it one time. You're literally going to be sitting here like this. All right. Fuck. Can I do it? Bro, damn. There you go. You're just going to be sitting there looking like that. <laughs> and you don't want to look like that, okay? All right, now the John Wall moving crossover and the Giannis moving crossover. That's literally just run up and then flick the right stick in the off ball direction, just like that. And that's how you do the crossover. Um, I don't really mind Giannis, but I like John Wall too, okay? Moving forward, we got Scotty Pippen behind the back, okay? All you want to do for that is flick the right stick diagonally down to the off ball hand, just like that. Diagonally down to the right to the off ball hand, just like that. Diagonally down to the off ball hand, so the ball is my left hand, so the off ball hand will be the right hand. So you want to run up and flick the right stick diagonally down to the right, and you got the behind the back. Now, the Damian Lillard one is very, very effective. I would also recommend using that. All right, let's keep moving. We got Moving Spin Basic or Penny Hardaway. All you want to do for that is just literally flick the right stick from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Okay, so watch the right stick. 12 o'clock right here, right here to 6 o'clock down here. So watch, we're going to run up, let go of everything, flick from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and we should spin back almost every single time if we time it right. Just like that, spin back, pull up, green, 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 green. All right, so let's do it again. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, it's going to spin us back. Okay, that wasn't good enough. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, spin us back, green. All right, just like that. All right, let's keep moving with this. So we got moving spin, moving hesitation, not really important. Moving stab back, we got the Asta slide. Now, if you want to do this, all you want to do is run up and flick down on the right stick, and it'll throw you in front of him. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it. All you want to do is run up, flick down on the right stick. It's going to put you in front of him. Big crab time. Let go of everything, flick down on the right stick, and you're going to get in front of him almost every single time. All right, it's not going to work all the time. You have to time it right. So look, I'm going to try to go like right to the left of him. As soon as I'm getting a little bit in front of him, I'm going to flick down. So I'm a little bit in front of him now. Okay, I messed it up. Let's come back. Let's come back, Carmelo. Let's come back. We're going to get in front get in front of him just a little bit. Flick down. Oh, my goodness, bro. We're going to shoot it just to get him off the tip and then reset this, okay? All right, go in, whatever you got to do. All right, now let's do it again. Okay, so we're going to hit him with him behind the back. Come back the other way. Flick down. There we go. Now we're in front of him. We can shoot it just like that. You should be able to do that in the stage. Whatever you want to do, it'll work. Okay, just run up. Flick down to get in front of him. Oh my goodness, bro. He's on tip. I'm trying to get in front of you, bro. For the dribble tutorial, man. Let me get in front of you. Oh my gosh, not let me cut him off. But you see how it works, okay? 
Um, and then that's it. That's it for the basic moves. Now, let's do the behind the back. You're going to hold RT. Hold the, um, whatever hand the ball's in. So the ball's in your left hand, you want to always flick it to the off ball hand. So when I say off ball hand, that means if the ball's in your left hand, you flick it to the right. All right, so if it's in my left hand, flick it to the off ball hand, it would be the right hand. So you hold RT, flick diagonally down on the right stick, and then you want to run also to the right. So look, just like this, and you spam size. Slow it down to .25 playback speed if you need to. There you go, that's what it looks like. If you, if you spam it, that's what it looks like. All right, that's exactly what you need to do to do the behind the back, just like that. Just like that. Now, if you want to momentum spam, if you want to do the momentum, all you have to do is flick up on the right stick and then move the left stick the direction you flick as well. So I flick up on the right stick. Then if I'm going to the right, if the ball's my left hand, you always want to flick to the off ball hand. So it'll be up to the right, up to the left, up to the right, up to the left. So watch, I'll spam it. Up to the right, up to the left, up to the right. Okay, let's restart. Oh my goodness, sometimes I can't really do it because I don't really do it that much. Up to the right, up to the left, up to the right. Okay, bro. It's not letting me do it, bro. Come on, let me lock in, let me lock in. All right, up to the right, up to the left, up to the right, up to the left, up to the right. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen the combos. All right, that's it for the momentum spam. That's how you got to spin back. Now we got to teach you the momentum moves, okay? So let me think. I taught you how to hezzy. I taught you to do all that stuff. All right, so for this, what you're going to do is if the ball is in your left hand, for this move right here, if you want to learn how to spam this move, all you want to do is really just slow this down and learn from that right there if you want. Watch the way my hands were going. So if the ball is my left hand, I'm going to flick down on the right stick, down to the right on the right stick, and down to the left on the left stick. So we're going to pull it away from each other while I'm holding RT. And you always want to do the right stick first. So do the right stick, then the left stick. Right stick, then the left stick. All right? So watch. watch. Slow this down. Look at my fingers. All right? I'm trying to get this in the right angle for y'all boys so you can see. So look at my fingers. We always go right stick first. So right stick first, left stick, right stick, left stick, right stick. All right? Just like that. Same thing, just swap hands, all right? Now, if you wanna do this move, okay? <sighs> Come on, Carmelo, get the ball. If you wanna do this move right here, where you can spam it, you know, and get a little animation, get a little glitchy with it. Hold on, let me just come back. If you wanna spam it and get a little glitchy, it looks a little crazy when you start getting glitchy. So yeah, if you wanna do that move, all you have to do for that is hold RT, and then, so if the ball's in your left hand, you wanna flick Hold RT, flick the right stick straight to the right, flick the left stick straight to the left, and you get this move right here. There you go. That's how you do that right there. And that's about it, man. That's all you need to know. That's all the drill moves that you have to know, that you need to know. And that's about it. Listen, if this video did help you out, you learned a lot. If you have any questions, drop a like right now. Comment if you have any questions. I got you, okay? Just let me know if you have any questions at all. I will answer all of your questions. Just de comment, DM me on any socials. Follow me on these socials if you want to follow back. Show me that you're at this part of the video. Comment, A Cardi is a goat. If you have not already, drop the like and comment and then subscribe. Make sure you do that. And you know, we're on the road to 50K before 2K23. I appreciate y'all boys. I'm setting my face cam back up right now for my streams. Because y'all boys have not been in the streams. Y'all been lacking. Y'all been lacking. So comment if you're going to be in the next stream. I love y'all boys. I will catch y'all in the next video, man. 50K before 2K23. Y'all make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And it's been your boy, Cardi Man. And I'm out. Peace.